Hi there, and welcome to my Itty Bitty Chapel. My name is Patty Chafee, and I'm the community minister at Niantic Community Church. I'm also an expressive arts facilitator and a spiritual director. For those of you who may not be familiar with spiritual direction, it is the experience of a sacred and deep listening, a companioning that helps individuals grow in their spiritual life through silence, discernment, awareness, and inquiry. The Itty Bitty Chapel is a few minutes offered midweek to relax, refresh, and reflect on a spiritual word or phrase and to kind of center ourselves. Usually it's filmed in or near a sacred space within my home called the Itty Bitty Chapel. And this week's words for reflection are love and acceptance. Each of these words have volumes written about them, I'm sure, but I think the two go hand in hand. We can't talk about one without talking about the other. And we can't love others until we know how to love ourselves. We can't accept others in all their glory until we learn to accept ourselves in all of ours. Our commonality and the thing that creates real unity among us is love. You think that's true? I'll bet some of you know this. There are 538 instances of the word love in the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, 317 in the Old Testament, and 221 in the New Testament. Jesus tells us, love each other as I have loved you. Very simple, right? Or not. <laughs> in the spirit of Jesus' greatest teaching, I've always thought that the source of all problems in this universe, this world, in our country, in our towns, in our homes, is love or lack thereof. <laughs> and when we tap into the depth of peace and harmony that comes with loving ourselves, we can not only love others, but accept them in all of our beautiful, magical diversity. When we can do what Jesus taught us, just love, the rest will fall into place. Now I know that's an oversimplification, but why not? Why not? Earlier this year, we did a program based on Brene Brown's The Gifts of Imperfection. In it, she writes about love. Love and belonging are essential to the human experience. If we want to experience love and belonging, we must believe we are worthy of love and belonging. Loving and accepting ourselves are the ultimate acts of courage. It's a starting point and a foundation to tap into our true unconditional love within ourselves so that we can tap into genuine caring, compassion, belonging, and love for each other. In Love Poems from God, Daniel Ladinsky translates the words of St. Francis of Assisi. God came into my house and asked for charity. And I fell on my knees and cried, Beloved, what may I give? Just love, he said. Just love. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? But the reality is, we are a wounded people a whole bunch of human beings who came into the world perfect, just as God created us. And through no fault of our own, learn to judge and hate and misunderstand and look down on. We fear what we don't understand. We fear those not like us. And we fear not being loved and accepted. But at the center of our being, we are perfect love. In his book, A Cry for Mercy, Catholic priest and theologian Henry Nouwen writes, the spirit of Christ sends us into the world to the degree that we are guided, not by our fears, 
but by the power of the Spirit, we become aware of the needs of the world and we experience a deep desire to be of service. A deep desire to be of service. All who are sick, homeless, hungry, lonely, struggling to be seen, fighting for justice, marching for peace, all those in need are shown to us as brothers and sisters with whom we are united in solidarity. If you're able to join me tomorrow, that's June 18th, from 3 to 3.30, I'll be doing a prayer vigil. I'll be in my itty bitty chapel and I invite you to find a sacred space of your own and just lift up prayers with me. The invitation is to pray or meditate in whatever way speaks to you. Together we can lift up our prayers in unity for a wounded world. Praying for justice where there is none, peace in our communities, love in our hearts, understanding for what we fear and healing for us all. So I'll be thinking of you and keeping you in prayer. And I leave you with the beautiful music of R. Carlos Nikai. And a reading of a few scripture passages on love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all wrongs. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. And until next time, may our infinitely loving God answer all your prayers. God bless you and Namaste.